The painting that you see here, I had a vision of during adoration. And to me, it suggests the title of living water, the grace and energy that flows from God and the Holy Spirit directing your actions and activities. It's also a reflection on baptism, I believe. There appears to be characters or people beneath that. I would bring this painting into hospitals, and I'd leave it with the patients in rest homes and private residence. There's a beautiful prayer, actually two, that are connected with this, that I would share with the patients who are ill. The first one is, Come into my heart, O Lord. Make my heart your home. May your sacred healing blood mingle with my own. With every beat of my heart, May your sacred blood flow, flow through every part of me, healing as it goes. Abide in me, O Lord, may I abide in Thee, with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, blessed Trinity. While we stand beneath the living water, having bodies and souls bathed and purified by the Holy Spirit's grace, then with open hearts, May we joyfully accept the power and glory of God's perfect healing love. Heal thy brethren, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, if it be thy holy will. Azu and T. Confio, Jesus, I trust in you. On the cross you will have Christ's five wounds of his passion and death. Beneath this painting is another that is special. I was working with a terminally ill person and I had a very unique Mary experience with her. Which I'm not going to at this moment. But she inspired this piece. I said, someday I will do a painting of you, but I did not tell her it was going to be Mary holding baby Jesus. Now I bring this painting to hospitals, to rest homes, and private residences, too. And Mary is asking you to hold her son Jesus in your arms, heart, and soul. Abide in him, may he abide in you. Breathe in deeply the breath of the Christ child. Breathe in Jesus, exhale joy, love, and peace. Love him, too. This is deep breathing. It focuses on God's love and the air that he is exhaling, you are inhaling deeply. I had a lady who was terminally ill with cancer that I was caring for in my home and she was very much in pain. She told me one time that Mary said she could hold baby Jesus. I said, I want you to revisualize that, except when you're holding him, I want you to breathe in deeply the air that baby Jesus is exhaling. And breathe in deeply. Exhale pain because she was in terrible pain. We did that a few times. Breathing in deeply. Exhaling joy, love and peace. Exhaling pain. The pain left and grew. She started singing joy to the world afterward. And we said the rosary afterward. I was massaging her back and she was in terrible pain and it helped her a bit. Over here is a beautiful painting, Our Lady Star of the Sea. 
I brought this into St. Angela's. I was a greeter. The children loved the painting. They would go up and read the words, which are beautiful in themselves, which I will not go into right now. But they told me to take the painting out of the library where the greeters were greeting new parishioners. And I was a greeter. So I took it to rest homes and shared it with the patients instead. And they found a great amount of pleasure and joy in that. Behind you'll see a picture of Jesus' heart of divine mercy that I'm very much into. The heart of the chapel of the divine mercy. Up above there's a picture of the heart of divine mercy with my son in the picture. This was a statue I repaired for a legion of Mary. I put a smile on Mary's face. I said Mary shouldn't be smiling and they gave me the statue. It eventually became Rainbow Mother Mary. I will share briefly the painting I'm working on now. This one essentially is done. Earlier, this was a sunset painting. This is dedicated to the parishioners who were killed by hatred in Charleston, South Carolina. In her headdress, you have the children of Abraham. I have a mission statement in life to share Christ's commands of love, and especially the new one. Love your neighbor as I have loved you, John 13, 34. There are too many excuses that people, and sometimes even churches, create that create hate. And the words are, I have a song to these words and more. Ave Maria, Mother of Christ, bearer of God's great gift to us, Jesus, Prince of Peace. Ave Maria, Star of the Sea, friends of all sailors and all those in need. Please stop hate and violence. Please bring the world peace, found in loving God and our fellow man. And this is for the church in Charleston.